challenge is an intervention that maintains freedom of choice, but steers people in a particular direction. So a tax isn't a nudge, a subsidy isn't a nudge, a mandate isn't a nudge, and a ban isn't a nudge. A warning is a nudge. If you swim at this beach, the current is pretty high and it might be dangerous. You're being nudged not to swim, but you can. A reminder is a nudge. If you're sent something, let's say, two days before a bill is due saying you probably should pay or you're going to have to pay a late fee, or if you're sent a reminder by text phone that you have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, please come, that is a nudge. In both cases, you can say no. If you probably not in your interest to say no if your bill is due, but people sometimes do that, and a reminder allows you to. If there's information when you buy food about the calories associated with that cheeseburger, that, that is a nudge. And what's interesting, I think, about the nudges we're describing now is they're educative and they help respond to a fact about the human brain, which is we have limited attention. And the number of things that we can devote attention to in the course of a day or an hour or a year is less than the number of things we should devote attention to. And sometimes a nudge can get us to devote attention to something we really should devote attention to. <laughs>